why greatness is short-lived and why people's glory turns to shame is called unaddressed weaknesses and vulnerabilities unaddressed weaknesses and vulnerabilities if you can't spell it ask your neighbor unaddressed weaknesses and vulnerabilities I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. Let me not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will not forget, Lord. unaddressed weaknesses and vulnerabilities write it and please listen if you are a great man here whether you are in ministry especially please I want you to listen to me I have something to tell you unaddressed weaknesses and vulnerabilities I preached a message many years ago while revivals die I'm a student of revivals I'm a student of awakenings. I have studied revivals across continents. I have had the honor of meeting a few people who spearheaded prophetic moves of God. And I began a study first for myself and then as a contribution to the body of Christ. Why do revivals die without achieving their purpose? Why do we have mighty moves of God? And then eventually everything goes down. And at the end of my research, I found only one reason why revivals die. It's called the humanity of men. The fact that the vessels that spearhead that revival are humans, it is the reason why the revival dies. Listen to this. I heard a man of God say this years ago, that any weakness unaddressed will eventually destroy you. It is not weaknesses and vulnerabilities that destroy men. It is weaknesses and vulnerabilities that are unaddressed. Hallelujah. Can I tell you the truth? Every man born of a woman has weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities means there are things you are easily given to. And it does not necessarily have to be sinful. It's just that it can be used against you. Are we together? Yes. There are many, many people, their own vulnerability is lost. Now, it has nothing to do with whether you are good or bad. Lost. Women, men, or both. Lost. There are people who don't have that weakness, but money they can pray in tongues from morning till night but let them hear the sound of money and the old man has come alive you will thank me for what you are hearing there are people their weakness is anger and offense if the devil wants to destroy them one thing triggers anger an offense they can boil even as men of God they can boil even as whatever it is and as I'm praying any spirit of anger here that has trapped anyone's life in the name of Jesus I command that spirit to leave you now shake a barucatasiata I call that spirit by name and I command it to leave you now listen our miracle service has started oh this one is, is not till next week again. Sit down. Listen, there are people, their weakness is an increase. What did I write here? Their weakness is an obsession for recognition. It's a weakness. An obsession. Even if it's the devil that calls their name and ushers them, they are happy. It's a weakness. Listen to me. Do you know how the spirit of seduction works? The character of seduction is that that temptation has no power over you. 
until it can connect with something that is already within you. If Jesus is not hungry, telling him turn these stones to bread will be a useless temptation because it, there is nothing within him that can relate to that. Are we together now? One of the ways that spirits manipulate men, watch this. One of the ways that people become victims of spirits is they are called trigger points in the spirit. So when the devil wants to come into a family, they study the couple or they study the children. What is the weakness that becomes a gateway into this family? If it is lost, they will position a way of entering it. If it's money, they will do something to crash the finances so that in that state of desperation, you see that? If it's obsession for recognition, Satan will make the husband to dishonor the wife, the wife to dishonor the husband or the children. All this joining of heads you see in homes is a devil. Oh. He's only looking for an entrance point. Please listen to me. Weaknesses and vulnerabilities don't care whether you're a man of God, don't care whether you're a businessman, don't care whether you're a child, don't care whether you are educated. If you become honest with yourself, and deal with them you have found your key to remaining <laughs> hallelujah hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1 weaknesses and vulnerabilities wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses watch this let us lay aside every word and the sin that means not everything that this sin is not the only thing that destroys you for those who think it's only sin no there are weights weaknesses vulnerabilities there are people because of your obsession for for money the devil can program somebody who is very rich but devilish that's how you see people destroying the glory of people because they are so, they have a weakness. And do you know what? Weaknesses and vulnerabilities do not necessarily have to bring any profit for you before you pursue them. There are people today who drink and it's not that it brings any satisfaction. It's that they just found themselves bound by it. You don't like what I'm saying? Listen, no. Weaknesses and vulnerability among the many things you must know about yourself is what can bring you down so that it becomes your prayer point did you hear what i said you must find out what can bring you down and start crying before the lord roll like a madman and say lord help me before i destroy my destiny there are people today the cancer that can bring them down is offense so every time the devil wants to cause problem, he will make them to not be recognized in a place or create something. And they say, me, me, politicians. That's how they get into trouble. Hallelujah. One of the biggest deception of Satan is this false idea of holiness where people actually believe that because they've not gotten into any trouble, they are free moral trouble economic trouble and when it has to do with weaknesses bar nobody has the right to point hands at everybody everybody lies down before god you would have looked at the young boy david in that boy was a murderer would you have believed that in that fine young man ladies that's the kind of man you would have want to marry yet if if i told you you are about to marry a murderer you would not believe it david for you just because people have not acted out they are lost does not mean they are free from it somebody who does not have god forbid me even if it's one billion and they call things they don't know anything about instead of them to say mercy oh god one billion i will not leave jesus for it and then you are not paid salary for three months and by yourself you start scrolling your phone you call x everything y everything said everything in, in search for who will give you money and you will not know when you find yourself lying with a medical condition sorry i just have this thing there's one pain i can't explain i need four hundred thousand for the pain who is treating you like that 
send me the money and at the end of it you say ah look anytime you feel you are standing you are already on your way going down the only reason why we stand i'm telling you is by the mercy of god and the earlier you accept this bar the better for you there are many arrogant people who have made noise like this to their detriment and today they have become a disaster to the nations vulnerabilities an obsession for fame there are people who love the Lord, oh, but this obsession for fame, they would do anything to promote themselves to be famous. It is your assignment to be honest with yourself. What are my vulnerabilities? Now that there's no money in many places, that's when you will know people's vulnerabilities. How do you know vulnerabilities when trouble comes? There are people who love God, but they can do anything doable. Let your imagination stretch as far as you think I'm saying. Once it will bring money, they are willing to do it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? For a child to arrange to kidnap their parents. Huh? You've heard of people arranging to kidnap their own loved ones. Then they join the people to cry. And after they are done crying, you've heard the story, is when they start sharing the money and the thing backfires, then eventually someone will say, no, I didn't take that risk for nothing. It is your responsibility under God. The moment you attain the state of greatness, I taught you there are three groups of people who will always come to you. Remember our teaching yesterday, um, last week, wicked people, let's recap selfish people and ignorant people and you must be aware of these people it is for you to begin to pray lord help me in the name of jesus lord show me mercy many people today have been destroyed perpetually their bishopric has even been taken their relevance has gone hallelujah when i was writing this writing out all of these things there was one, one weakness that stood out and the Lord told me, talk about it. It's called offense. I want you to listen. Offense comes with growth and increase. Offense comes with growth and increase. That means the more you grow, the more you increase, the higher your chance of being offended. Hallelujah. With growth and increase comes the awareness of honor, comes the awareness of shame, comes the awareness of disappointment, comes the awareness of embarrassment. There are people who have no business feeling ashamed or pained except because they have risen to a point that is now notable. Acts chapter 24 and verse 16. Acts 24, 16. Give it to us. It says, And herein do I exercise myself. Is that in your Bible? To have always a conscience void of offense towards God and towards men. It is possible for a man to be in this state. Void of offense towards God. Void of offense towards men. There are preachers today hating one another there are businessmen today hating one another. You trace the story, it goes to offense. Ego. Ego is such a, in fashion today, it has become an industry. An industry has literally been built around the ego of great men. Offense. Revelation chapter 2, 4 and 5. No, no, no. James 1, my apologies, 19 and 20. James 1, let's hurry up, 19 and 20. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, God is speaking to you now. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Is that in your Bible? Verse 20. For the wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. He already told you. No matter how anointed you are, when you allow this cancer of offense to eat into your heart, you will be surprised 
are the many things that you will do as a result there are offended preachers offended businessmen offended parents offended spouses and you see the pain from offense can be so deep you can feel it physically you know how you feel um, like peptic ulcer or something you literally feel as if they are piercing you with a knife there are people who cannot sleep oh he did this to me she did this to me offense this was the issue between Esau and Jacob the offense was so strong the brothers of Joseph after they betrayed him if Joseph was not free of this do you know what he would have done he would have probably gathered them one by one and slaughtered them one by one number one for collecting my coat of many colors putting me in a well and selling me for 30 shekels I will slaughter all of you one by one when the brothers discovered that Joseph that they wanted to kill was now prime minister they were afraid and he said set the table before them let them eat he said you meant it for evil ah what's that song you take what the enemy meant for evil and, and turn it for good you turn it for good sing it one more time you take what the enemy you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good hallelujah if you don't repent from that they will see mentality they will see it's unnecessary your destiny is too expensive to peg yourself with that kind of mundane pursuit are we together offense you need to find your weakness and your vulnerability and obtain grace to deal with it there are preachers when they get angry they can box physically I'm not talking of report you to police by themselves they will box you and beat you what happened you called him Joshua Selman instead of Apostle Joshua Selman that's what warranted that 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 boxing hallelujah there are men if their if their wife say honey you say you are stupid honey better call me by my name call me daddy it's not for me to dictate what you should do in your home but it's unfortunate easy things that bring offense can I tell you the truth if you know God you will not keep men in your heart if you know God ba. You will not keep men in your heart now don't think to be free from offense is just something you just laugh like that there are people who have been wounded and that wound is so deep it will not jump out overnight but this is where the Holy Spirit comes he brings to your life that balm in Gilead and with that balm healing comes with that balm healing comes is someone learning can I tell you, when I see young men in ministry talking about fathers and talking about other people and shouting and carrying a false sense of holiness, sometimes I just lay my hand on my chest and I pray a sincere prayer for them. I say, oh God, please help these people. You've never held one million, never held ten naira, and you are shouting, making stupid noise. And there are people they have not there are certain circles if God brings you into you have to go back and go and pray a prayer of repentance in case most people have no idea what honor can do most people have no idea what liftings can do I told you last week that is the reason why you see the older people get the less noisier they become they just keep quiet Ah, this thing, this man did this. I will kill him. Oh, and the elderly man just says, hmm. Instead of you to discern what he's saying, you are there shouting as a young man. Hallelujah. Discern your vulnerabilities, 
discern your weaknesses there are people who cannot see women there are people who cannot see men there are people who cannot see pleasure once they see a nice car something in them starts shaking who is the owner of this car i must know the person huh nice house there are people who are almost getting arrested right now because they can go and lie down on somebody's car just because they want to claim it it's not just your desire to have it sometimes it is lost are we together most times offense comes when expectations are disappointed sometimes offense comes when your lost is not actualized please listen to me koinonia you are hearing this preacher talk to you because i want you to last i do not want anybody to receive that statement in their lives you must obtain grace find out what your vulnerabilities are pray flog it and create systems by grace to protect yourself there are others your weakness is food it sounds funny food gluttony ah, except you don't see food you will misbehave no matter what you are wearing once food comes around you lose your di your your uh, uh, dignity lose your decorum and you will fight you are sweating trying to make sure you get one and get another one oh the remaining the juice and you 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 become disoriented in the presence of food you can collect food from children and you are laughing while you are eating their food it's lost gluttony Are we learning lay your hands on your head don't pray yet just lay your hands on your head i want you to think in one minute what is that one thing if you were satan what will you use to bring you down start praying over it now what is that one thing please pray sincerely if you were satan what is that one thing you would use to bring you down be very honest and talk to the lord lay your hands on your head and cry thou son of david have mercy upon me have mercy upon me have mercy upon me i was broke the other day you may say i found myself trying to arrange a preacher to come and preach and manipulate members and raise money for me because i need to pay my rent this issue of finances lord help me before it tears me into pieces Go ahead and pray. Nothing to be ashamed of. This is church. For some of you, your weakness is lying. Once you open your mouth, 80% of what you are saying is not the truth. Even if you swear by the name of the Lord, you are still lying. Pray and say, Lord, help me. I've changed myself and my destiny. Lying on stage as a preacher in the name of Jesus. Exaggerating things and telling lies. For some is pride, full of ourselves. Please go ahead and pray. Don't feel condemned, but pray. There are people today because of money and titles. They are 50 years, but they have said they are 35 years. Because they must get it by force. People have forged documents today. Forge all kinds of, including Christians simply because they are looking for opportunities oh ladies and gentlemen lift your voice and pray ask god to show mercy what's that your rest on me song again find a comfortable key and sing that rest on me song again please pray for one minute
spirit rest on me hallelujah listen to me hear me the thing with weakness even if it is one more year left for you on earth you can rubbish everything good you have done simply because you did not address this seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance give yourself an assignment if you need to take a day off to cry before God go and cry before God you can't lie to God roll on the ground and say your majesty this is me coming before you I want to last help me hallelujah can I give you the last one Ichabod obtaining grace to last